welcome everyone welcome to our channel today our topic of discussion is banded iron formation which is popularly known as bif banded iron formation is very common and widespread iron ore deposit of sedimentary origin most of the world's iron deposit found as bif more than 60 percent the sedimentary ore deposit are generally categorized into two types autochthonous sediment and allochthonous sediment autochthonous sediment are those which form within the environment where they deposited that is in situ deposition it include the chemical organic and residual classes on the other hand allochthonous deposit are those which are transported into the environment in which they are deposited and they include heterogeneous and pyroclastic fragments so what is banded iron formation or how they look banded iron formation consists alternate bands of dark and red color layer of silica and iron oxide the dark band which consists iron poor and silica rich layer in the form of chart and cell whereas the red band which is characterized by iron rich and silica poor layer in the form of magnetite and hematite the alumina percentage present in bif is very negligible compared to the phenerozoic iron deposit here are some pictures of bif which shows the alternate bandings of iron oxide and silica now the age of bif banded iron formation is mainly limited in the precambrian time majority of this deposit are aged as paleoproterozoic that is between 2.8 to 1.8 billion years and again they deposited at the age between 750 to 540 million years in this diagram the age distribution of the banded iron formation is given which shows that during paleoproterozoic the formation reached its acme then there was a depositional gap and again during neopotrozoic they deposited now the formation of bif how they come exist in the nature it is noted that de the development of superior bif reach its acme during the paleoproterozoic renov calculated that it's covered about 15% of the earth crust during this time so how this huge amount of iron formation came exist basically there is mainly two concepts behind the formation of bif that is biochemical sedimentary concept and the second submarine hypothermal concept biochemical sedimentary process biochemical sedimentary process is very much related with great oxygen event or ge goe at nearly 2500 million years ago during this time cyanobacteria appear in the ocean during photosynthesis blue green algae produce oxygen that combine with the dissolved ferrous ion present in the ocean floor and produce insoluble iron oxide that precipitated on the ocean floor forming a iron rich layer but the oxygen produced due to photosynthesis was very much less as a result the amount of oxygen get reduced and the chemical equilibria of the ocean changed as a result silica get precipitated over the iron again due to photosynthesis oxygen level get increased and iron combined with the oxygen forming the iron rich layer so by the cycle of variation in the oxygen level in the ocean alternate layers of iron and silica came in exist during this paleoproterozoic time forming the banded iron formation in this diagram the partial pressure of the oxygen or the stages of oxygen production is shown with respect to time now we can see that huge amount of iron was present in the ocean so what was the factors that increase the amount of dissolved iron in the ocean so the factors are a reducing atmosphere or one with low oxygen potential second low marine sulfide and sulfate concentration 
and the third and most important a high hydrothermal iron influx from the hydrothermal vent found in the ocean floor now come into the next hypothesis that is popularly known as submarine hydrothermal process this process is very much related to a phenomena called snowball earth so what is snowball earth snowball earth indicate a global cryogenic event during 750 to 600 million years ago during this time large sheets of ice covered the earth up to equator that means about 90 percent of the earth landmass was covered by the thick sheets of ice as a result the rate of photosynthesis get decreases and a oxygen depleted condition appear the dissolved ferrous then accumulated in this oxygen poor ocean which came possibly from the seafloor hydrothermal vents but at the same time global tectonization occur which increase the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere causing the greenhouse effect that enhances the thawing of the ice sheet and the ocean get oxygenate again as a result the ferrous ion combine with the oxygen and produce iron oxide and get precipitated forming the iron rich layer so we can say that snowball earth condition indicate that the iron was deposited from the mantle rich brine in response to hydrothermal fluid in the active rift zone the diagram show that from the hydrothermal vent hydrothermal fluid came out with enormous amount of iron which react with the oxygen present in the ocean floor and produce the iron rich layer next the facies of bif in general facies indicate the environment of formation that means in which environment they formed james 1954 identified four important facies of bif first is oxide facies this is the most important facies divided into hematite and magnetite subfacies depending on the iron oxide ulitic texture is very common which suggest a shallow marine origin the chart varies from fine grain cryptocrystalline material to mosaics of intergrown quartz grain next is carbonate facies this is commonly consist of interbanded chart and siderite in about equal proportion it may grade through magnetite siderite quartz rock into the oxide facies or by the addition of pyrite into the sulfide facies silicate facies iron silicate mineral are generally associated with the magnetite siderite and chert which form the alternating layer with each other this is primarily because of number and complexity of these minerals and the fact that primary iron silicate are difficult to distinguish from the lower rank metamorphic silicates and the last one is sulfide facies this consists of pyritic carbonaceous argillites thinly banded rocks with organic matter the normal pyrite content is about 37 percent and the banding result from the concentration of pyrite into certain layer this facies clearly formed under a anaerobic condition in the next session we will discuss about the types of bif and their distribution thanks for watching the video do like and share and subscribe our channel